What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new Fortium video. On this one, we're going to take a look at how to scout, buy and potentially sell players on Fortium via OpenSea. If you are sitting there thinking, Jack, what on earth is Fortium in this game you're playing? I have done a few videos on my channel on this amazing game. I'm really enjoying it at the moment in time where you can check out the introduction to the game, what actually is Fortium, how to play it and also my strategy in terms of season one. But we're going to jump straight into the video. So behind my head, you've got buy plays at the top right corner of the site. Or on this left-hand side, you've got transfers. So if we click into transfers, that will take you across to OpenSea. Now, OpenSea is kind of the main platform for all NFTs. You want to connect to your wallet, so I use MetaMask. And this is how you buy and sell and scout Fortune players, but also buying clubs is on here as well. That's buying Fortune clubs rather than players, of course. So straight away, it filters out by lowest to high. And one thing you'll notice straight away is obviously lower rating of the cheapest, but also the highest age as well. So if a player is 31, um, they retire at the end of that season. So once you hit 31 years old, that's their last season as utility for that Fortune card. So beware of that as well. So the cheapest player on the platform at the moment in time is this guy right here, 0 0.0009 Ethereum. Um, so you can obviously go buy him straight away if you want to his 25 rating, um, which isn't too good. Um, Division A, you look at potentially 30 plus for um, ratings. On the left-hand side, you'll notice a lot of different filters down here. So we're definitely using these for scouting players. So just for this example, how I scout players via OpenSea, we're going to use this team as an example in Division 5. And let's just say for the sake of this video, we've got one, two, three, four centre-backs in this in the side. Now let's just say I want to play three at the back. Again, just for this video purpose, we're going to pretend that all these defenders' age are at 31. So I definitely need a centre-off, let's just say. So first thing I would do is look at my current rating. So 37, 45, 39, and 44. So average, about a 40 average sort of player. Now you can see on the right hand side the scarcity um, or the rarity. So once they're at 39 or below, they're classed as common players. At 40 to, I think 55, might be wrong, but at 40 um, above, um, to I think 55, I think it is, they're classed as bronze players. So I know... It could be potentially a common player with a 30 now, maybe some good potential, like a young player, or a fairly average, like a 26 year old bronze player. Um, but you know, we're talking very low rated. So, straight away, what I'll do on OpenSea is come across here and filter by position for centre back. Now, some of these filters um, don't always work. I think the max potential range doesn't work. I always tend to use potential range on the left hand side. So, straight away, it brings me the center backs. Now, what you can do if you want to is go on here, go on price low to high, and just see if you spot, you know, a you know a fill a thirty nine for example rating that's dead very cheap. So thirty four there. But as I mentioned, he is thirty one years old. So keep that in mind when you are thinking of buying these players. Again, thirty four there, but age thirty. One big tip as well, what I should have mentioned before even looking at these players, is your own academy. So your own academy players, for example, on here will have ratings. So if I had my if I had a centre back in my own academy at, at 35 again, just for this video purpose, let's just say he was a centre back at 35. This could save me a lot of money. 0 0.0139. You'll, you'll notice in the moment in time I open C, you won't find that sort of player at that age, that rating. So always check your academy first. Um, before actually jumping across to open C, but we've got no centre backs in the academy, so we definitely need to buy one. Um, again, I won't be doing it on this video, but you can see the ideas on open C. Now, current rating, I think you can do a bit of a range, but I tend to use this current rating tab on the left hand side. Now, we said we need about something like a 40, so I think anywhere from like a 37, 38, 39. Let's look at 40 and 41 as well, get a bit of an idea. Now, I don't want my players to be old. Again, you can see 31, 31. That's a common theme, and they are fairly cheap at 0.003. So age range is important if we filter on that one there as well. There's two 16 to 18 for some strange reason. 
Now, these are going to be a premium price because you've got a good amount of utility from these plays. But just for example, this play right here, 37 centre back, he's 18 years old. Not a major potential, so he's already used four, I think that is. Um, or maybe not actually, sorry. And he's got 50 more potential to go. So if you open this card up on OpenSea, we can see his max rating for this player is 48. Now, how would I know um, if that's good value? Should I you know, enter that, for example? The next one is quite a bit more expensive with just two more um, ability. So how to get a bit of an idea if these players are you know, good value or not. So just for example, you've got there 0.018. So you come across to analytics on open seal. And this is about how I do it um, anyway. And you can see the, the floor price. So that guy we mentioned just so 0.018. And in the last seven days, their sales on this graph right here. So you can notice here that that actually price isn't too bad. The cheapest player in the last seven days is 0.015. Now you can actually go into this player as well. And you can see that their max rating was 49. So this is a 38 centre back, which is was sold for 0.0154 days ago. Now, I'm not saying that's good value, not saying it's terrible value, but it gets a bit of an idea what people are buying, what people are selling for at that sort of value. So to be honest, this guy right here at 0.018 isn't too bad value. You also see here as well, this guy who sold for just under 0.04. Now he is, he is a bronze player. Um, however, he's just 40. So, again, bronze. So, it goes from common to bronze once he hit 40 potential. Again, this max rating is 60. So, a little bit higher than the first guy we saw on OpenSea. Was it this guy right here, maybe? Yeah, it was. I think it was wanted. Um, it was 48. So, 12 more potential rating. This guy went for 0 0.04 or 0 0.0398. So, give you a bit of an idea if, it, if that's good value or not. So, again, just in a nutshell using the analytics page it is vital in my opinion obviously this is just filtered out by center backs if we just remove this center backs position here you can even get a bit more of an insight and a lot more sales going on here as well at different values but obviously some positions are more rare than the others i think the more central positions goalkeepers strike especially center defenders and center mids just because every team has those positions are more um, rare if that makes sense so you can see here different sale values i've taken off center backs on here as well and just on 37 38 39 40 41 current rating the age range is 16 to 18 and these are all the listings and most importantly sales that have gone through over the last week you can actually change it to the last 30 days as well and open c could get a bit of a bit of a flavor a bit of an idea um you know, how much these players are actually going for. So that value for that defender, 0 0.018, isn't too bad. So it's definitely not over expensive. You're probably a fair value is probably at 0 0.015 as a decent offer, 0 0.016. But again, if I was looking at a defender to potentially buy, he'll be up there. It's definitely one of the players to get in my club. How to buy is very straightforward. As you can see on screen, you can buy now, make an offer, or you can also make a deal. So behind my head, you'll have like a handshake sign where it says make a deal. You click on that, it highlights their card from the collection. Then you can add a card or multiple cards from your collection. Add Ethereum if you wanted to as well. And you can send players from your collection to the other uh, manager's collection. Now you can also list and sell players. So that's how I tend to do it is coming back over to Footium. Let's just use this player as an example and then clicking on view on OpenSea and that will bring up his profile on OpenSea. You can see max rate on here and a few other bits and bobs as well. So straight away what I would do if I was looking to sell this player is go to like scout a similar sort of player. So a 47 rated goalkeeper who's 27 and has a max rating of 52 or from that sort of average. You might not get an exact um, idea, but it might be like a 46 rated goalkeeper with a max rating of 51. That's selling for 0 0.01. So obviously you can work out roughly how much yours might be selling for if it was a bit better um, or slightly worse, if that makes sense. You click list for sale on the top right. 
what you can then do is list the starting amount. So again, just for example, you can put in here whatever amount you want. I usually list for about a month or a week, depending on you know, what kind of player it is. There is fees on OpenSea as well. And just forget, just again, don't forget as well, sorry, use as fixed price. So that's a price you set, then players or managers, sorry, can come and make you offers or buy this player straight away from you on OpenSea. So that's how to buy and sell players. One little tip before I wrap the video up as well, when you come to buy these players, it's always worth checking out their most recent stats. So a, a blower player, sorry, there's this link to their club. So he's 37, he's 18 years old. Now, if I jump over to this hyperlink, it might change, it might not do. Yeah, he's, he's, he's at the same actually. So 18 years old, sorry, he's 37 rating. Sometimes what tends to happen is he might be like a 38, 39 rating because this hasn't updated on OpenSea. So always confirm that as well and just double check that, especially age as you move on through the season. So you know, maybe next season or season three, this guy will be you know, 19, 20. And OpenSea might still show potentially as being 18 as a 37, you're, um, 37 rated player. So always just come underneath the player and click this link below. It'll take you straight to, to, over to their updated profile on Footium. And you get a bit more of an idea if he's been trained, if he's been playing matches, um, and if he's still that correct age as shown on OpenSea. Um, that is it for the video, guys. Um, any kind of feedback or what, you know, what your strategy is for Footium, if you use a different way to scout players, I'll be interested to know that strategy below in the comment section of this video. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. If you have enjoyed the video, smash that like button and I'll catch you on the next one.